Hi, my name is Bill Garnett, and this is my presentation on B-complex vitamins, pantheothenic acid, and choline. So to start off here, we're going to do a quick little video about just B vitamins in general. Hello, this is Dr. Janet Bruno, and today I want to give you an introduction to B vitamins. Now, most people have heard of B vitamins, and I just want to help clarify because we have some confusion on here. B vitamins are actually very essential vitamins that have a significant effect on the functioning of the body as well as the quality of life. One little known fact about B vitamins is that aside from being assimilated into the body through our food, our body can also produce them within the intestinal flora. Now this is why a healthy digestive system is very essential to proper vitamin D levels in the body. The B vitamins are actually key elements in the transformation of nutrients into the form needed to provide energy. They're also essential in keeping our immune system really strong and robust, as well as ensuring the proper balancing of traditional hormonal processes in the body. So you can see the B vitamins have a lot of function. Well, there are many different B vitamins, such as B1, B6, B12, they are called, along with some other vitamins, the B complex vitamins. You've probably heard that before. And the reason why they're called a complex is because they really do operate precisely as a complex. They require the presence of other B vitamins in order to function properly. And it's important to know that any imbalance, whether it is a surplus or a shortage of a particular B vitamin, will actually affect all the rest in the complex, particularly in the way they are absorbed and metabolized by the body. So this effect underlines the importance of getting B vitamins naturally instead of using supplements. You see, with supplements, there's always a danger of imbalance and upsetting the natural assimilating of the vitamins. And this is due to the fact that one really must take several supplements in order to address all of the B vitamins and in order to get the pharmaceutical effect, in contrast to nutrition building effects where the B vitamins are actually acquired naturally. Now, if you've heard of B vitamin deficiency, you, you probably wonder what exactly causes that. Well, there's several factors that have been known and proven to cause vitamin D deficiency. The common ones are stress, refined sugar, some processed foods, pesticides and other toxins, environmental pollution, digestive problems, alcohol, malnutrition, and illness. Okay, these things have shown that these factors are all part of causing vitamin D deficiency. And the most common two factors actually are processed foods and stress. So really what this means is if you can eliminate processed foods from your, from your diet and develop some good stress management techniques, that can really do a really good job of helping taking you towards having a B vitamin now, B vitamin deficiency, you probably wonder, well, how does that manifest itself? Well, it's actually quite common. And in order to have the true medical diagnosis of vitamin D deficiency, excuse me, vitamin D deficiency, usually you need five or more symptoms. And let me give you the list of many different symptoms. But let me give you the list. Mood swings, depression, vague fears, panic attacks, rage, morbid thoughts forgetfulness, hostility, restlessness, apprehension, chronic worrying and anxiety, mental confusion, menstrual disorders, sores in the mouth, sensitivity to noise, stress intolerance, loss of concentration, sore throat, problems with swallowing, headaches, insomnia, memory loss, impaired intellect, nervousness, lightheadedness or dizziness, digestive problems, insufficient stomach acid production, constipation, diarrhea, stomach pain, craving for sweets, heart palpitations, chest pain, muscle soreness, cold hands and feet, low intolerance for pain, dermatitis, burning or itchy eyes. Okay, now as you can see, that's a tremendous 
tremendously comprehensive list, and obviously there's many different things that can cause these symptoms. However, if you do not have a specific medical diagnosis, and you have five or more of these symptoms, it could be possible that you are vitamin D deficient, and that could be why these symptoms are there. So if you do have some symptoms in this list, I really do encourage you to go see your physician and have this checked out. Because a chronic vitamin D deficiency really does stress your adrenal glands. And in some cases, you actually have to get treatment to restore your adrenals so they can work properly. So really, the summary of all this, I really want to encourage you to eat a healthy diet to create balance with the vitamin D content. You really want to achieve that. And a healthy vegan diet is one of the best ways to do that, to encourage you and your body to have optimal B vitamins, as well as all the wonderful benefits that so to become a little bit more selective now, pantheothetic acid is among the most important of the B vitamins for the basic processes of life, while also known likely to be the least common nutrient deficiency in, American, in the American diet. Um, without pantheothetic acid, you would be unable to use fats, carbohydrates, or proteins as an energy source. You would also be unable to make hormones, and your immune system would collapse. Um, this can be found in many, many foods such as meats, vegetables, grains, ligaments, and eggs. As I said before, it aids in the breakdown of fats, carbohydrates, and proteins as an energy source, but it also acts as a function of treatment of acne. Uh, the other functions could possibly be reduce stress levels, regulated cholesterol levels, promote weight loss, improve symptoms of arthritis, and improve the immune system. If they're recommended daily intake, there really is none, but it's suggested that men and women should take around five milligrams a day. It should be pretty easy considering the fact that the majority of the food that we eat contains at least small sources of pantheothetic acid. So signs of this deficiency could possibly be, but are not limited to nausea, muscle cramping, irregular sleep cycles, impaired coordination, and fatigue. Uh, symptoms of toxicity, there are none documented, but it is n more tests needs to be done in order to establish this. So for the study that I chose on pantheothetic acid, I found one about moderate facial acne. So the purpose of the study was to see what pantheothetic acid would do to men and women who had moderate to uh, moderate facial acne. So the methods were 41 subjects were evaluated. There were try there were about equal numbers of men and women, so it was pretty accurate. Uh, two groups uh, were separated. One was given a placebo, and the other one was given the pantheos pantheothetic acid uh, tablet. The study was conducted over 12 weeks, and at the end of the uh, study. The results showed that pantheothetic acid significantly, re significantly reduced the facial acne lesions compared to those who took the placebo effect. So another uh, vitamin B supplement would be choline. Choline serves various functions in our body in the structure of the cell membranes, protecting our livers from accumulating fat, as the precursor molecule for the neurotransmitter acetylcholine and more. Because of the rapid, rapid development in fetuses and infants, we have a great need for choline in our early lives. Uh, human, has a, human milk has a high level of choline too, so, but it can also be found in meats, eggs, fish, nuts, and vegetables. So as you can see here, choline has a large amount of liver, and wheats, eggs predominantly, but it is also in other many foods such as fish, beef, um, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, shrimp, salmon, milk, peanut butter, and even chocolate. So the functions of choline and aids in nerve signaling, aids in early brain development in infants, um, maintenance of cell membranes, it also helps us repair our cells and transports triglycerides from the liver. Uh, it has not been established yet, but the recommended intake is between 405 and 50 milligrams daily. Um, that's going to be a little bit more elevated in women who are pregnant and 
um, solely for the fact that infants need more. Uh, signs of deficiency, higher likelihood of those in fatty livers, uh, memory loss, dementia, signs of toxicity could also be low blood pressure, vomiting, diarrhea, and a fishy odor given off by a skin. So a Chlorine Stuttel, a study that I also found was uh, in anxiety and depression. The purpose of the study was to cross-examine uh, plasma chlorine concentrations with varying scores of anxiety and depression symptoms to see if they're related. The methods consisted of a sample size of 5,918 uh, people. Both men and women participated in the study. There were two age groups consisted within that uh, sample size. There was an age group in between uh, 46 and 49 years of age and then 70 and 74 years of age. They all can uh, contain symptoms of anxiety and depression. Uh, the results of the study show that there was an inverse relationship uh, between choline and anxiety levels. There was no, no significant association between plasma and uh, choline, plasma choline levels and uh, depression symptoms. So just an overview of pantheothenic acid and choline, uh, both are vital in early brain development and basic daily functions. The recommended daily intake of uh, pantheothenic acid is 5 milligrams. The recommended daily intake of choline is 400 through 550 milligrams. 400 suggested for women and 550 suggested for men. Exceptional sources of uh, both vitamins can be found in meats, vegetables, grains, ligaments, and eggs. Also, signs of deficiency and toxicity, uh, pantheothetic acid, nausea, muscle cramping, irregular sleep cycles, impaired coordination, and fatigue. There's no toxicity recorded, but that does not mean that there is a level that we need to be worried about. Uh, choline deficiencies, memory loss, and dementia, and signs of choline toxicity would be low blood pressure, vomiting, diarrhea, and a fishy odor given off by skin. Okay. Thank you so much.